Hello, friends. I'm Mother Goose. And I'm Goosey. Friends, in the last episode, I introduced you all to an author-illustrator by the name of Woody Coon. I remember him. Good. I'm glad you do. He's an author and an illustrator. Do you remember what that is, Goosey? Uh, can you remind me? <laughs> sure. An author is the person that writes the story. And an illustrator is the person that draws the pictures. Woody Coon can do both. Can you do both? Well, <laughs> I'm a much better author than I am an illustrator. So I prefer to let others draw pictures for my books. Now, Woody Coon wrote the book Humpty Dumpty After the Fall. In the last lesson, I read that. Friends, if you haven't watched that episode, go watch it. Yeah, go watch it. <laughs> Shh. It was an entire book that was written based on one short rhyme. I wanted children to hear that book so that maybe they would be inspired to use one of my rhymes to write their own story. Cool. Did he write any other stories? Yes, he did. In fact, today I thought we would read Woody Coon's book, Humpty Dumpty Save the Day. It's another book based on my original rhyme. I can't wait. Okay. Here we go. Humpty Dumpty, after the fall, helped the needy at every call. He vowed to the women and all the town's men he'd never sit idle and be lazy again. He hopped and skipped on down a hill where on the ground lay Jack and Jill. He placed the bandage from his shell on their heads to make them well. That must have hurt. What? Pulling off a band-aid. Ouch! He saw an old lady that lived in a shoe, whose wild kids were like a trip to the zoo. But what could he do? He's only a guest. So he read them a book so the lady could rest. Hear that, other one? You can go take a nap now. We've got your kids entertained. Another old lady, in an extra large blouse, had swallowed a fly, but was the size of a house. Was it a house fly? Shh! He gave her his shoes and said, it's never too late. Then they jogged all day long, till she lost all the weight. Don't you wish it was really that easy? Yeah. Now little Miss Muffet, what a frightening sight. There's a spider behind her, and he's raring to bite. So he leapt to her rescue with no time to pray and crashed down beside her with her curds and whey. Humpty's coming, dear. Don't you fear. And on down the river were three men in a tub, shivering cold and all shriveled up. He reeled them in before they froze and traded their buckets for all of his clothes. Look, they all fit into his pants. Broken and weary with cramps on his thigh, he ran like the dickens when he heard a girl cry. It looked like a girl who had lost her best friend. Oh no, Georgie Porgy's been here again. Personal stays. <laughs> no, that's not it. It's little Bo Peep surrounded by a flock of 99 sheep. Bo Peep cried out, My little lamb's gone. I left with a hundred, now I'm missing one. Humpty searched through this and that, but all he found was a fiddling cat. He caught the cow that jumped over the moon and lectured the eloping dish and spoon. What does lectured mean? It means he gave them a talking to. Just when he was about to quit, he found the lamb inside a pit. A pit? A pit is a hole in the ground. Cold and hungry, alone all night, he fed on protein from Humpty's egg white. Ooh, he ate raw egg? Yes, it's okay for the lamb to eat it. Nurse to health, the lamb grew strong, 
so he took the lamb to where it belonged. When he came home, to his surprise, he found a feast and friends before his eyes. A party? <laughs> yes, in his honor. Humpty Dumpty saved the day. With all he had, he gave away. Through his journey, what had he learned? The more you give, the more it's returned. Ah, oh, Mother Goose, that was so nice. Yes, it was. See, friends, how you can take one of my rhymes and write a whole story around it? I gotta go. Where are you going? I'm gonna go do something nice for someone now. Goosey, that's wonderful. <laughs> if you'd like for Woody Coon to visit your school or library, watch for his contact information at the end of this video. Until next time, I'm Mother Goose. And I'm Goosey. Keep reading and rhyming. <laughs>